Today on Coco Full of Grace TV, we have Alina Alter of Aoki Boutique. She's actually the owner, by the way. So, Alina, please tell me about this great, quaint, humble abode of yours. Thank you, Coco. That's a great intro. Um, <laughs> This is Aoki Boutique. Um, it's been open since April, so about eight months mm -hmm. now. It's, um, it's a women's lifestyle boutique, so I have everything from clothes to jewelry, accessories, mm -hmm. home goods. Um, I just kind of wanted to like create a space for women to come and you know explore different mm -hmm. sides of their style and of their like personal aesthetic and kind of find things that can fit organically into their life and into their home. And um, it's just kind of taken on a life of its own and been a really cool project. That's great. So starting out, what was your original vision? Like, was it just this, or did you plan on branching out? Did you even imagine that this would even happen for you? I didn't really imagine. It, it started with me wanting to be self-employed and wanting like my own space and wanting like a women-centered business, but not necessarily a boutique. That kind of like yeah. is just the shape that it took. I think the best part about this place is that it's in Philadelphia. And I think people don't really look at Philadelphia as being one of those, you know, fashion, you know, incorporated places yeah. or, you know, the fashion connoisseurs live here. But it's interesting because since I've met you and so many others, you, there's this whole world of fashion that's been opened yes. up to just both men and women. Mm -hmm. And I think that's great and it's perfect. So what inspired you to actually use this location? I mean, it's in Ringing House Square in Philadelphia, yeah. which is definitely the spot where a lot of the, you know, you see the, the fashion, yeah. you know, kind of stores just walking around and walking about. So definitely. why this place for you? Well, I grew up in Philadelphia, so mm -hmm. it has kind of, you know, a special place in my heart, obviously. And like you said, it's not really thought to be this like fashion mecca but there's no reason that it can't be it's like you said like in opening this i've become connected to so many other young entrepreneurs that i didn't know were in this city and other like fashionistas and people that have you know blogs and clothing brands and things like that so it's like if you build it they will come kind of thing you know what i mean right, it was right. like when i started doing it it was like I wasn't as much of a pioneer as I thought, you know what I mean? It was kind of like humbling. I was like, wow, there are all these people that are already doing this. So it was very cool to kind of join that um, like small business community mm -hmm. and that like entrepreneurial community. Um, I guess this is a good place to start. This board features some jewelry made by a local artist named Heidi Rowland, and she does really beautiful feather and gold and leather work. Um, I have about four or five local vendors at the moment and the rest are kind of from all over the place but when possible of course I try and seek out and support local artists so I'll go to like the punk rock flea market and things like that and just kind of keep an eye out for who's doing cool stuff in the city and what I can maybe source from um, I don't want to be exclusively local because I feel like that's really limiting and um, there are other kind of forums for that and I feel like it's important to get Philly artists in the same space as, you know, New York people and people from even abroad to kind of make the local scene a little more scalable and a little more like global. Um, but she's one of my favorite local artists currently, so I'm really thrilled to be featuring some of her stuff. And um, yeah, we can just continue through the space, I guess. I wanted to point out this artwork, which is done by um, a local artist, a Penn student. The artwork is one way that I've been able to kind of utilize the space um, in ways other than just a boutique, so making it more of like a multi-purpose space. And you know, I've done like First Fridays and things like that here, so every month I feature a different local female artist with her paintings on display. So it's another way for me to support, you know, local entrepreneurs and female entrepreneurs and kind of the local art scene a little bit. Um, so in addition to merchandise that I'm selling, it's kind of just showcasing, you know, what's going on in, in other capacities in the city right now. It's less about, like, how much stuff I can sell to people in here and more about, like, creating an experience for them and creating, like, an environment for them. So, um, it's been a really, like, fulfilling kind of thing for me. Um, I have some books. Um, which was really important to me to not just have clothes and things like that. My kind of like tagline for Aoki is style and substance. Um, and that's kind of how
how I try and conduct my life, you know, because a lot of women, it's so easy to just peg them as one thing based on how they look, and, you know, as girls, there's so much pressure to put so much effort into how you look, and it's, you know, it can be really overwhelming sometimes, and it's important um, to me that we also, like, kind of cultivate our intellect and our opinions about things. As you could probably tell, um, and that's really how I buy for, you know, the store in general, is, like, I kind of buy with a... Um, I, for my personal taste, and hope it kind of translates, which is why I don't carry like denim here, really, because I don't really wear jeans myself. And you know, it's I just kind of buy things that I personally would wear, and hope that you know there's a skill scalability factor in that for other people too. Well, you're stylish, so I'm pretty sure like Thank that's you. not hard to really <laughs> Thank you. find something for people Flattery. to wear. Thanks, Coco. So right now, Alina of Aoki Boutique will be actually showing us some of her favorite articles of clothing and her favorite items. So, I'm right. ready. Well, I guess this is a good place to start. I have this very glitzy mini skirt That's in here. That's really cute. Yeah, it's perfect for like New Year's Eve and kind of the holiday season when everything's very like festive and sparkly. Right. And I feel like you can really dress it up or down. Like you could totally wear this in summer with just like a white mm -hmm. tee tucked in or something. That's and like great. some flats. And obviously, you know, if you were wearing it with like a black opaque tight and a black pump and like a little structured blazer or like That's blouse really up top. Great. That's yeah. Great. They do really nice, like, hand sewn work. This is a company out of New York. So I really like this. I think it's really sweet. It's itty bitty, of course, so I would definitely balance it out, right, not show right. too much skin. Right. Um, so, how much do you think this would be if somebody was interested in actually purchasing it? This one's actually $104, so okay. it's actually towards the higher end of my price range here right. in terms of what I carry. The greatest part about this store is that not only is it high end, there are other inexpensive things that are also high end. And Alina's actually going to show us some of those items. Pinstripe blazer, it's cropped a little bit and it has three quarter sleeves. And it's only $27. So this That's is perfect. Yeah, a little more within most people's price range. This is a great way to dress anything up. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty conservative cut. We all have the typical black blazer, but this is a little different because, first of all, it's navy and it's also pinstriped. Um, People like that pinstripes, um, black and white look. I've noticed that. Yeah, so especially vertical stripes are really flattering. Mm -hmm. It's elongating and it's slimming. Right. And, you know, especially for girls that might be bigger busted, it's perfect to have the vertical stripes. And it's stripes. perfect for people who are tiny like me because it actually makes us look longer. Yes, yeah, so it makes the perfect. torso look longer, right. which is perfect. Really flattering. It's like universally flattering. You can't go wrong with something like this. And you could totally wear it in a more like corporate conservative environment, right. like to work, or you could wear it, you know, obviously out at night as well with like That's a skirt, like a white, you know, racerback tank and like tight jeans or something mm -hmm. like that. So I love that. And then we have the infamous bustier that we were admiring up front. So here, here it is it goes, on the rack. guys. $33. That's not bad at all. No, it's That's not perfect. bad at all. <laughs> yeah, and you can really wear it year round. Like I said, it's it's originally a summer item, but I mean, maybe it's not winter, but you can definitely wear it in fall and spring and summer mm -hmm. with something high waisted and with a blazer over top of it or with like a sheer top over it. Um, so yeah, for for twenty for thirty three dollars, you can definitely look really like unique and get the kind of feminine and the edgy look going, which I love. Um, and it's a really nice fit. It hits right at the natural waist. So this is one of my favorite items in the store. That's perfect. Well today, Coco Full of Grace was in Aoki Boutique and we saw a lot of great and amazing things from the owner, Alina Alter. So thank you so much for allowing um, Elite Black Sheep and Coco Full of Grace.com to actually do this as a collaborative uh, with you. So thank you. Of this course. is a great place. And guys, please come through to this great place, as I call it, the humble abode of Alina. Thank so that's you. just perfect. And would you like to tell them where it is? Yes, it's on uh, 22nd Street between Chestnut and Sansom. The address is 115 South 22nd Street. And I'm open every day except Monday. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you here. I'm always here. So looking forward to meeting each and every one of you.